Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Dyson and today we are going to be reviewing the InStylish Makeup Microfiber Sponge. So as you can tell, we already tried it out on our face and this is what it looks like when we applied it. And yeah, so let's get on to the video of us trying it out. All right, so we're going to do our eye makeup first. Before doing foundation, I'm drinking my coffee and she's eating fries and pizza. You want to show them what you're eating? Well, I don't know how without spilling the whole plate. Well, that's what she's eating. That's all hers. Or was. I don't know. I don't want it. <laughs> Why? But, um, yeah, so I got sent these microfiber sponges from InStylish. There is the brand. There is what the sponges look like. And they sent me two because two comes in a pack. And originally these are like, I think $12.99. But they're on sale right now on their website for $10 for two. Um, it comes like two in order two pack. But they're separate packs. So you don't have to necessarily get them exactly together. I did not know that until they got sent to me like that. But I was planning on giving one of them to one of you guys. But she wanted to be in this video and get one. So... You'll have two people's opinions about this product, um, but I will be putting this into my future 4K giveaway. It is the Pixie by Petra Lip Lift Max Glossy Lip Plumper, and this is the 2.7 gram one, and it is the Honey Sheen color. I do have this. I have the smaller version in my collection, and I really love it. Mama. Yes. Tell them about when I use a lip pumper and then I... Why don't you tell them? Okay. So, I was sneaky and I was on my mom's bed and I looked to the side. She had her um, makeup lipstick thing. So, I just decided, oh, I should try it out, but I'll have to... Um, use one of those makeup wipes after so she doesn't notice. And then I started swatching them. <laughs> and um, I saw this clear one with a, a sear, s silver, with a silver top or something. So I, it was like mini, it was like that's. That kind of it size. wasn't the pixie one. It was a two-faced yeah. one that's more intense. <laughs> yeah. And I, I I swatched it first. And then I got it. It, it, it was like funny. But, so I tried it again. And then I was like, it's not too bad. Maybe I should try it on my lips. So I tried it on my lips. And I, I, I was like... like Mm, at at like at first, but then it started. It started the plumping. It started to burn like Yeah, it started to burn, and uh, I don't. I think I called you in or something, or you came in. I don't know. I don't remember you. But you, but then I, I told you about it or something. So you. Hey, daddy. <laughs> so, um, so you were there and I told you about it and you told me it was a lip pumper and I was like, what's a lip pumper? And you it said it. She was freaking lips. out. <laughs> yeah. She thought it was burning her lips off, I think. <laughs> I do not know what I just did. It basically makes your lips bigger. Sandy, we got the Jeffree Star palette. I got gifted this by Ida, which is DD5 here on YouTube. I'll put her her um, channel link down below in case you're wondering about that. Also, the InStylish sponges will be linked down below. You can also get a like coupon code for 10% off of your order. 
and uh, by using that, if you do order from them, I get 20% commission, they said. But that's not important to me. The 10% off to you, they're already affordable, and they have a bunch of other makeup products. So just go check them out. You don't have to order anything. Just go over there and check out their website and see if you like anything. Um, and yeah, let me know what y'all think about them because it's new to me too. Um, and we're going to try these sponges out. Mommy, are you going to talk about the nail thing in this video? Yeah, probably. I'm going to go in with this color in the Jeffree Star palette. And I have been digging into this thing a lot. And um, before y'all see my nails, um, yeah, one's popped off. I didn't even have these nails for two weeks yet. And one's already popped off. So, um... Tomorrow, I plan on going to the nail shop, and if they don't redo it for free, I might not go to that nail shop anymore because it should not pop off before even two weeks. They should last at least a month. Because um, I have it on my calendar to re, like, fill them in in a month. So, well, yeah. We'll see how that goes. They do beautiful nails, but if the glue doesn't last two weeks, I don't mm, no. Okay, so we're going to prime our face using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And Elena is like, can't you use that with a sponge? I personally do not like doing that. I like using my hands. Do you want to? Mm. Okay. Don't put it in your eyes, too. Don't forget you got eyeshadow on, so don't put it on your eyelids. Now we're going in with the Jor um, Concealer. This one. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah, try not to get it in your eyelashes. Or it did. I don't think you have any lower eyelash thingy makeup thingy that pop. <laughs> Uh, I look like a, I don't know, like, what were those things that were like, a rat, yeah, a raccoon. Okay. Alright, now we're going to wet one sponge and show you the difference in between what it looks like dry and wet. So you want to wet one real quick? Yeah. Or I'll wet one real quick. Well, when you go under the water, just squish it oh. while it runs. Make sure it's in there. This is kind of, this is fuzzy. Really fuzzy. It's microfiber. So this is what it looks like before it's wet with water. Like a little hole. Make sure you squeeze it out. Wow, look at the difference. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, so that's what it looks like when it's wet. When you uh, put it under water and then you squish it, it's so satisfying. Now since it's damp, I'm going to use my Isadora Active All Day Wear Makeup 24 Hour Sweat Proof Humidity Proof Foundation. And this is the color 14 Sand. Ooh, that's a big one. They're both so big. Okay. Now what? We're gonna put it on our sponge. Okay. I'm gonna use two pumps. You only need one. Oh, okay. 
I only got one and a half. Yeah, just put it on like this one. And I like to do both cheeks, nose, under my nose, Should I do chin, it? and forehead. Should I do it the bottom or like right here? Bottom. Or you can use that. Whatever you want to do. Okay. I think Ooh. I used too much. <gasps> Whatever. I already did it. It's okay. So now just put it. Just dot it on your face and then smear it around. What did you or say? Or dab it around. Your nose, your forehead, then your chin, cheeks, under cheeks. your nose, on your like upper lip. Yeah. And then blend it out. That. Okay. It's showing texture a lot more than I'm kind of used to, to be honest, right now. But we'll see. We'll see. What the freak? Wow, I look pale. You know, looks like a pretty good color match for you too. I'm going to use this corner for my under eyes. They look good. Do it until it looks like your face. Do it under your eyes too. Oh, okay. Try not to ruin your um, eyeshadow. I believe it's dry or something. Wow. I like this little sponge though so far but I do think I see more texture around my cheek area like my pores more than I normally do and I always use the same concealer and the same foundation literally every day for like I don't know ever since I did that box swap video I think it's been more than a month now on me Am I taking over your channel? Yeah. Everybody <laughs> wants to see you all the time. What, you jealous? Yeah. That's okay. Well, what young people do. If we it got, cut some of that. Yeah, it cut some of that part. There was like a... A ad. Yeah, popping up on our screen, so... Look at how fluffy that is. I like to put some around my ears and under my chin to blend it where it won't be so noticeable. I really wish I had some cream contour to play with right now. If anybody has, like, a cream contour kit and you don't know how to use cream contour and you just got it sitting in your makeup thing and you want to send it to us we would be more than glad to play with cream contour um i just don't want to go out and buy a palette just to play with because i don't know if i would like it but it would be an interesting video if anybody wants to donate their old cream kit that they don't know how to use I'm not a German phobe. As long as you say you're clean, I'll believe you. Especially if you're one of my loyal subscribers that I trust, you know? So, my P.O. box is listed in my description box below. If you have a contour kit that you are not using that we could play with, we would appreciate it, right? Yeah! Is that fun, Squishy? Yeah! That could be our next video, right? Yeah! 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 You forgot to close the bathroom door again. Well, It is fluffy. Looks like what Jeffree Star would use. Okay, so, so far I see a little bit more pores than normal, but I do like it. Um, I think people that likes to mattify their makeup, this would definitely mattify more. 
Um, so just keep that in mind. I do have dry skin, so I like sponges a little bit more than this, um, but I see what people would like about it. I'm going to continue on using it, don't get me wrong. I think it's cool because it's so fluffy. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do powder now, and we're going to use the sponge for our powder, and we're going to use this Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter. Wow, way too much bees. And we're using the color Translucent, Oat Translucent. Translucent. Well, there's a lot of dust coming out of that. I like to bake under my eyes. So I'm just going to dab in here like that. Oh my gosh, I picked up so much powder. This is definitely people for oilier skin. I think you would love this sponge. But it's still nice with my dry skin so far. It just mattifies it more. And it does show a little bit pores more. Here you go. Just shake it and it'll go in the middle. Mm. I dab it under the eyes mostly and then I spread it around the face. The face. Why do people always say the face? The face. It gets all my nerves. What do you say? My, don't my don't do this. Dab it. Yeah. Smack the Doesn't, shit out of your skin. <laughs> Doesn't that hurt your arm? Um, don't you know um, cardio? Makeup is my cardio. I need a shirt that says that. What's the cardio? It's exercise. <laughs> I do like this sponge though. It feels really nice for powders. This is definitely, definitely going to be my choice for baking with. I think that's cute. Wow. Yeah. Kind of, let me see. Come here, come here, come here. Wow, girl, you look flawless. <laughs> you learned that from me, didn't you? Yeah. Dang, that eyeshadow oh. looks good, too. Did you hear that? It was a sponge. What are we doing now? Yep. Alright, we're going to do the rest of our makeup off camera and we'll be right back. Um, wait. Uh, uh, okay. Uh... Okay, so Elena got a little carried away with her bronzer. So yeah. I want to show you how you can clean off that bake a little bit. Um, using the sponge. I need your sponge. I can use mine, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So I'm going back in with that same powder we used earlier. Let's see. You can tell, show them where you messed up. I really don't know, but it, I know, I know it's really. Well, first, you need to blend it a little bit better. Yeah. But she went too far. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. Come here. She, someone sent a photo. It's just, a, it's just Sally's. Is she watching this video? <laughs> That's a hair shop. Oh, I'm, I'm done. And go from your mouth, kind of go to the ear lobe, make like a little line like this. Like a puppet. Oh. Huh. I know it looks funny right now, but we'll wipe it off in a second. This goes tight. I wish you could put memes in your videos. Like the one meme that says this, that, goes this is really good for powder. Alright, <laughs> now I'm gonna get a powder brush. And just shut your mouth. <laughs> Do 
It's cause time. So it cleans it up. Yeah. My my is so cute. If you go too harsh on your bronzer, you can always just put your regular powder all over it. She just had to hit her mirror. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, we're back. We just got done trying out this microfiber sponge from InStylish. Like I said before, the link for it will be down in my description box below. So you can get 10% off using my code. And if you do decide to use my referral link um, or my code, it will give me 20% commission each one that I can refer to whatever don't know how to really say that but yeah what did you think about the sponge Elena it's really fuzzy it's really fuzzy and I like it because they're right there talk to them <clears throat> <Okay. clears throat> so I like it because it's one thing it's fuzzy two thing it's fuzzy three thing because um it's squishy it's squishy <laughs> it's squishy it's fuzzy i and it's fuzzy. don't think it's going to be my personal favorite for foundation i do think people with oilier i mean yeah with oilier skin will like this for foundation especially if you don't have a pore problem i um i well okay so when I put my foundation on with this, I saw a lot more pores than I'm used to using the same foundation I always use. Um, but after using my Be Beauty Bakery powder, it it's not bad anymore. Like my pores look normal after baking with this. I personally like to use powder for this. This is gonna be my go-to baking powder sponge. Um, I'll probably use it for a foundation too since it did come out at the end very beautiful um yeah I really like the sponge and I'm glad they sent it to me and Elena has a sponge now so she'll have a sponge in her collection and I gave her some foundation that she'll get to use Is it this one yep mm -hmm. I gave her my Smashbox foundation it's probably not her color but that's all I have in my collection that I, wanted I to think share. I have it on right now. No. No. We use this one. Oh, I did. Misty. Mm. It's kind of dark. Yeah, but it'll be okay. We'll roll with it. Yeah. Who's in this? Yeah, because I spread it all over my arm. And like I said before, I am throwing this Pixie by Petra Lip Lift Max um, Glossy Lip Plumper in the color Honey Sheen to my 4K giveaway when I accumulate $100 worth of retail value in my 4K. I'll do like a sneak peek video for my 4K international giveaway. But yeah, just to let y'all know, I am adding to that collection. So the link to this sponge is in the description box below. Don't forget to at least go over there and check out the website if you purchase or not. You just check it out for me, okay? Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And wait for Elena to come back. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you buddies next time. Bye. Bye.